Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, grade 4 mathematics, today we'll be dealing with algebra, algebra and we are looking on how to use letters, uses of letters and today we'll be representing numbers using letters. We will be representing numbers using letters and for a start is a question, how can you simplify algebraic expression? How can you simplify algebraic expression? With me, join for more on this. And to start, remember when you are in our lower classes or in a previous grade, you identified several or different items. And with me, I would like you to pair up in two and just observe. I have some bananas with me. I have some bananas with me. Is a bananas with me. And now, I would like us to represent these bananas using letters. For example, for example, we have bananas, bananas, and I want us to represent these bananas just using a letter B for banana. Let us represent it using letter B. So, if you are asked, how many bananas do you have? We are using letters to represent objects, and I've said, we have bananas on our table. So bananas, we can represent them using letter B. So B is standing for bananas. Now, with me also is some carrots. I have some carrots here. So let us use letter to represent the carrots. Carrots can also be represented by letter. We can choose any letter. So let us choose letter C to represent carrots. So in our groups, learners, this is how we represent objects using letters. Letter B, we have chosen it to represent bananas and letter C to represent carrots. Now, in our activity, I would like us to represent the ball that Jen has. Jen has a ball. So, can we represent this ball in our activity using letters? So, we will write here, ball. The gen as a ball, so the ball will represent it using a letter. For example, let us choose letter A for ball or B, whichever letter we choose. So we have B for, for balls. So that is how we use letter. The use of letter to represent objects is how we have done it and shown it here. Learners, we have said we are representing items or objects using letters. and the use of letter, remember algebra, algebra is the use of letters to represent certain numbers. And here we had bananas. So to represent the number of, of bananas, we'll say Jen as B bananas. Jen as B bananas. And to represent the carrots, we'll say Tom as C carrots. Tom as C carrots and to represent the ball that Jen had will say Jen as B balls. Jen as B balls. The B C is a num are representing the number. They are representing a number. Now in our task for today, let us use numbers to represent the following. In our task for today, let us use numbers to represent the following. Write a letter to show the objects. So write a letter, a letter to show the object. Write a letter here to show the object. And for number one, we'll say Victor, Victor as cuts. So which letter will you use? Which letter? Or cards can be represented by which letter? Cards can be represented, can be shown by letter. Now I'll do the first one. So the second one now we do. We can use Victor as cards. 
Remember, we are using letters to represent objects so or items. So we say cards can be shown by letter. For example, letter C, choose C for cards. So letter C has represented the number of cards that Victor has. So that is number one. So can you do the, the others? Number two. Number two, Tom has cows. So cows can be cows can be shown by letter. Which letter can we use to show cows? Number three, we have oranges are in a basket. Oranges are in a basket. Oranges are in a basket. So oranges can be shown. Oranges can be shown by letter. Which letter can we use to show oranges? You can choose one. Number four. Our class. Our class as pupils or learners so pupils can be shown pupils can be shown by letter which letter can you use to show pupils learners these are our task for today as we learn how to use letters to represent an object or a known number of objects for example we had bananas we used letter b so we say john as b bananas b is standing for the unknown number victoria as carrots so how many carrots we'll say victoria as c carrots c is standing for an identified number jane as b ball jane as b balls so B is standing for the number of balls that Jane had. And now we can undo the task. And learners, remember, you can also use the items that are found in our homes. For example, the spoon, you can represent, you can choose a letter to represent the number of spoons that are found in our homes. The number of chairs, you can represent them using a letter. And by so doing, you'll be using letters to represent numbers, you'll be using letters to represent numbers. Let us meet again in our next lesson.